People in the area say it's a reoccurring problem and it's an eyesore. Cars constantly blocking the sidewalk in an Albuquerque neighborhood. News 13's Lizay Mitri looked into it. Lizay? Dean, Jessica, we stopped by the house today. We talked to a man living there and neighbors. Car after car blocking the sidewalk, apparently in for some repairs outside this Albuquerque home on 13th Street near Lomas. I have clients and friends in the area. My sister lives in the area. But real estate agent Bennett Hammer says he shows property in the neighborhood and the site is enough to deter people from moving to the area. If you see it once, it's one thing. If you see it twice, if you see it repeatedly, it creates an impression that it's not a desirable place to live and the city is not enforcing its own ordinances and doesn't care. Hammer says he's called 242 cops a handful of times over the years and another local who says he grew up here and his mom still lives on the street says he tried 311, but they say the effects aren't long lasting. That's why Hammer says he took pictures this time. As a matter of respect and safety, to say nothing of it being an eyesore, um, the sidewalks are for people and for walking. The sidewalk is clear in this video from yesterday because when a man saw our photographer approaching, he jumped in the SUV, shouted an obscenity at the photographer and drove off. We tried again today. My brother, I guess you already talked to my brother. He was working on his car. The man seemed surprised to hear people were lodging complaints and a next door neighbor agreed. Some people just have too much time on their hands. It's not a big deal at all. Jim Linky says his neighbors aren't causing trouble, that they actually help prevent it. They know everybody on the street. They keep an eye on everything going on. They know who belongs here and who doesn't. The neighborhood is the people, and they're good people. APD says if they get reports of someone parking on the sidewalk and the car's still there when officers arrive, they can issue a traffic ticket. In the case of this home, the city says it will monitor the situation. Back to you. All right, Lizzie, thank you. The planning department also points out the zoning in that area does not allow for auto sales or repairs.